Good day. So I wanted to make a quick little video on what I'm doing on my next big project because it's going to be a long time before it's finished and uh, I'm just going to show you some of the planning involved. So uh, here I am on the north of the map in the desert. That's my main base way back over there. You can see um, the main train station. My heatsink factory is all the way over there. Uh, and that train station is bringing heat sinks over to this train station on the train that goes around the world. Uh, that train where it is actually right now is where I'm going to have to build another train station and have a massive um, rubber factory which will bring also rubber to here. Um, you can actually see my nuclear plant from here too which is the pyramid structure. Um, the, the graphics don't render too well at this distance, but um, that's my nuclear plant. And the building blocking it in the way is all the stuff that um, you need to manufacture for the nuclear plant. Uh, my water <laughs> extractor plantation, which is pretty funny because all the water's disappeared at this distance. Uh, and you can actually see my waste storage facility which at the moment has 1,200 containers on it. Uh, um, which is enough to run 24 nuclear plants at 100%, which I'm nowhere near doing, for around 4,000 hours. So I've got enough storage for a fair while. So yeah, basically, um, finally over in the desert now, I'm gonna, gonna conquer the desert. Uh, this station has six lines in it is uh, three in and three out. So three into the desert. One, the heat sinks, like I said, they're already here. And these two lines are just going to be rubber. And then the three output lines are going to go back all around the track, uh, back over to my main base for my turbo motor project. So this is what I've got set up so far in the desert. What I need is four big factories. So I've kind of gone with this design here, right in the center of the desert. I'm going to have like four big factories coming out on these spires, claw-like things. Um, one factory makes 30 crystal oscillators per minute. Another factory is going to make 30 computers per minute. Then I need to make a whole bunch of motors and stators on another factory. And then the last factory is going to make radio control units. And um, that's those three output lines coming down here. So with a huge project like this, that's so far away from my base, which has all my um, automatic storage and resupply and everything, obviously something like this, which is nowhere near finished, it's gonna get a lot bigger. It's gonna take a shitload of concrete and uh, sheets and you know, the basics. So I didn't want to have to be going back and forward and back and forward between the main base, which is so far away. So I built like a little mini hub um, down here. So it's basically just getting some limestone and uh, some iron, and there's a few constructors in there making concrete and sheets and rods. Um, and there's also storage in there for every time I do make a trip back to bring things over like plastic and turbo motors and etc. that I'm not going to build. So yeah, little mini hub and um, one of my mates uh, gave me a lot of help with this. It was going to be just a small little temporary platform but um, we ended up getting carried away and making a kind of temporary thing that looks a bit cooler. So yeah, cheers to my mate for helping me with that. Um, we'll go down and have a look. So when I drop through this, set up in a way that if I just hands off keyboard, uh, don't touch anything, I'll just shoot through this whole thing. Like that, and just keep going. But I'm just going to turn around real quickly. Um, show what's in here. Um, so it's basically just underneath here. I'll just go down. One floor's got constructors. Uh, one floor's got 
some smelters and the concrete constructors. And yeah, it's just a basic little setup, uh, like a home away from home kind of mini hub. So I don't have to keep going back to the main base to resupply with concrete and um, sheets, etc., etc. So it's super handy. Um, I'll just show you one thing real quick here. Where we got? I need an empty one. I'll just grab all this. So, um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? So, I, um, on another video, I was complaining about how small the trophies are because in my base, I, um, I plan to have them on like a ring of conveyor belt display, which I did. And I was like, ah, oh, these are a bit small. But um, someone put in the comments, so thank you for that, heaps. I didn't know. Um, if you actually pick the trophy up, I'm sure a lot of you already know this, um, put it in your hands and then slap it down on the ground. It's actually massive, which is bloody awesome. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to play with these um, later and all the other trophies that are back at my base. But yeah, that's sweet. So yeah, just go over and have a quick look at um, what I've got set up so far. So the idea is the factory that I've built the bottom floor of, uh, that's going to be the crystal oscillator factory. And um, that's going to be the biggest one because it needs the most machines. So I'm going to build that one first and then I'll realise how big I need it to be and then I can just duplicate that or have identical copies of that factory on these four, uh, sorry, three other spires so it all looks nice and uh, perfectly symmetrical. There's my mate's body down there. Alright, so I'll just go up to the um, crystal oscillator factory or the start of it. It needs uh, five inlines and one outline. The outline for the crystal oscillators, obviously. And here we are. So it initially needed... Well, it's going to need 30 manufacturers making crystal oscillators. Now, why am I choosing... Because they do one per minute? Um, and make to get 30 a minute obviously need 30 right so why am I not doing the more efficient one which is this 1.9 because I said before in a previous video um, oil being the scarcest resource in the game I want to avoid using oil as much as possible so the original recipe doesn't use any oil so I sacrifice um, not. I sacrifice space basically for um, for not using oil, which is fine by me. I was going to have 30 manufacturers, but now I think I'm just going to smack in 20 manufacturers, and each one having one shard will um, get me up to what I need. But yeah, this this factory actually needs um, 114 constructors. And, oh, I don't know how many smelters, but heaps. So, yeah, this is um, basically the setup of it. So, the way these come in like this, into the bottom, my plan is to, once I get the top of these factories done, have the reverse of this going up and back and down and into the top. Um, yeah, so the last thing was uh, that I'm doing is I'm actually going to use trucks for the first time which is pretty cool because you get to play with trucks um, and that's just to get the quartz and the coal so yeah that's going to be a bit of fun and uh, again thanks to my mate because he's got a lot more experience with trucks than I do he was helping me without um, building these trucks up yeah that's about it for the um, the desert so I'm going to be in the desert for a long time on this massive project 
So yeah, um, I'll probably, or well, definitely put up a video when it's all done, but it's going to be a while because this is huge. This is going to be an insane project. Yeah, sweet. Catch you later.